In the late 1950s, a new political doctrine was birthed on the Korean peninsula, specifically in the north. This doctrine, known as Juche, was the brainchild of North Korea's first supreme leader, Kim Il-sung. Juche, translated as self-reliance, was a radical departure from traditional ideologies, setting the stage for a new era in North Korean history. Born in the throes of post-war reconstruction and amid the Cold War tensions, Yuchi was a response to the external pressures and political maneuvering of the superpowers. It was a call for North Korea to stand on its own, independent and self-reliant, free from the control of foreign powers. Kim Il-sung introduced Yuche as a guideline for national policy in December of 1955 during a speech to his party. It was a call for independence in politics, self-sustainability in the economy, and self-defense in national security. This ideology aimed to shape North Korea into a country that depended on nobody but itself. Through the years, Yush has evolved, becoming more than a political doctrine. It transformed into a way of life, a philosophy, and a cornerstone of North Korean identity. Yuchi's influence permeates every aspect of North Korean life, from its political structure to its cultural expression. One could argue that the longevity of the Kim dynasty is tied to the Juche ideology. It has helped to create an almost divine status for the ruling family, positioning them as the ultimate protectors and leaders of the Korean people. The ideology has been used to justify the country's isolationist policies and its pursuit of nuclear weapons all under the banner of self-reliance and national defense. Moving into the 21st century, Juche continues to shape North Korea's domestic and foreign policies. Despite its economic struggles and international isolation, North Korea remains steadfast in its commitment to the Juche ideology. To sum up, Juche is an ideology of self-reliance, born out of the need for national independence amid the geopolitical tensions of the mid-20th century. It has evolved into a philosophy that permeates all aspects of North Korean life, securing the longevity of the Kim dynasty, and shaping the country's domestic and foreign policies. Even today, Yuji continues to be the ideological bedrock of North Korea, a testament to its enduring influence. So the next time you wonder why North Korea is the way it is, remember Juch. It's not just an ideology, it's the lifeblood of the nation the driving force behind its policies and the glue that holds its society together.